Good morning, I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Watching a few light sprinkles that are starting to move their way into the viewing area. Those are going to be with us through the morning commute. You can see there at 7 a.m. some shower activity. It'll be light and patchy. It's probably going to be, you know, just running your windshield wipers intermittently is about all we would see. But it is going to be a windy afternoon and the clouds will linger for much of the day today. But hopefully we'll see a few breaks in the out and the clouds this afternoon. But a lot of the models are really hanging on to those clouds for a good chunk of the day today. Uh, uh, temperatures as you're heading out the door this morning are likely to be in the 50s. We'll see a pretty quick warm up into the 60s by mid morning and then 72 by lunchtime. We're going to see a strong wind coming out of the southwest, which will warm us up fast today. So looking at 79 in Fayetteville and Clinton, 75 in Durham, 77 in Southern Pines, and 74 in South Hills. It's going to be a, a warm afternoon. That wind coming out of the southwest is going to push that warmth in. We'll see gusts 25 to 30 miles per hour, and that will increase our fire danger for today. So you're asked not to do any outdoor or burning with uh, drying conditions and windy conditions as well. That means that uh, fires could spread very quickly. Our temperatures continue to warm up. Watch the color contours as we get into Thursday. They just turn pink. We could end up seeing the warmest uh, day in February on record on Thursday. We'll be close to records today and tomorrow, just a degree off today and tomorrow, but Thursday at 85, we're going to blow the record out of the water, uh, way above normal, as a matter of fact. Thursday's 85 degrees would end up being the warmest February day we've seen on record at RDU. The previous warmest was 84 back in 1977 on February 26th, and 85 is our normal high for June. Of course, we're seeing our pollen counts climbing, too, with all this uncertainty seasonable warmth. Uh, pollen counts are high today, tomorrow, and Thursday for poplar and elm. Not seeing that yellow tree pollen yet, but most likely with these warm temperatures, it will come earlier than it normally does. We normally see it, say, mid to late March. We take a look at our uh, seven-day forecast at 85 on Thursday. Uh, warm, warm, warm. And then after that, our next chance of rain is Saturday. And with that rain Saturday, temperatures cool down. But just briefly, Sunday, we're back to 70 degrees.